Corsaro Khan is the latest of the canon characters from Joy Toys Warhammer 40k in my collection. But is he worth hunting down? Shut up and sit down. Hey you skellywags, today we're having a look at this fella from the White Scars. We have Corsaro Khan. Captain Corsaro Khan, although Khan doesn't mean Captain, I believe, from what I've read. You get the usual stuff here, of course. Some lovely artwork on the back to see what you get inside. Your usual stuff. So let's see what's inside the box. So here he is, out of the box, with a few bits put on him, looking very much like his miniature. The only thing he's really lacking is that severed head, unfortunately. So instead of entering the room shouting, Behold, a severed head, he now enters just saying, Behold, my boy. But we'll have a look at that bird and all the other bits on him in more detail. We'll check out the other accessories right now. Firstly is this gun, which we've seen a number of times before. Pretty plain, but does the job. Next is this right trigger hand. So he's got another trigger hand already on him. This one there, which is in that color. Uh, for his gauntlet thing, but here this is a uh, white you can actually remove that and Then I suppose you can use this one here if you like uh, But they should have had a left trigger hand I think and Here is also a holding hand which is in white see those two are probably won't even use and here is a gripping hand in the correct glove color oh. and Then a left Pointy hand, which you've seen with other marines, of course, the standard stuff. Splayed out left hand here. And then fisty left hand too. Really would have benefited from a left trigger hand, I think, as well. Let's take a look at Kosaro Khan. This head sculpt really like this head sculpt it looks great it's one of the better head sculpts I'd say in terms of the paint apps in the eyes and stuff the neck here is quite different it's kind of slimmer if you see it look I mean you can move around quite a bit with it it's a nice movement there And here are the skulls of the children they sacrificed. Back there. So this is not connected out of the box, but it's easy to pop in there like that. And here's his bird, his Cyber Burkett Anzuk with that crazy side eye. Yeah, he's very uh, suspicious of people, and that connects why that bit there on the left foot. You have to align it to get inside the glove. So unfortunately, no articulation for Anzuk here. Paint looks good, nice. But yeah, no articulation. Let's have a look at more of the detail here on Kasaro. See there, look little skulls and that. Underneath here is a little lightning bolt. Looks great. Nice print there. This pauldron, though, that should have been uh, more 3D relief. I suppose to just print it on. Should have just done it like the miniature and uh, do this named character justice. Well, it's not the end of the world. It still looks great. So this here, you can remove it. It moves about. See, because look, when you've got it like that, it does go into the side just a little bit. So if you wanted, you can move it like that so it's out of the way. But if you want it to have the bird in it, you just have to align it there. That hole. 
and it just goes in with that. You can heat it up if you need to. And there. Voila. The one complaint I've got about this is that there's no forearm turn, so you have to turn at the bicep, which would limit um, posing, things like that. Behold, my bird. Right, so articulation for his arm does the usual around. That goes up about there and stays. The joint now doesn't pop out as easily as it used to, which is good. It's about the same as acid rain, really. And I'd argue uh, any further on a lateral raise on any system would just look a bit strange with the pauldron. It just wouldn't fit. There is a twist there at the bicep. Double bend the elbow. Looking quite fancy there, Cosaro. Like you could be part of the uh, Three Musketeers or something. On guard. And this here... Wrist, double ball, joint. Um, this thing for me actually snapped. I was trying to put it in his hand. The hand is so stiff that I ended up breaking, uh, breaking it. It's nice blades. They've got a little bit of a mark there. Moon Fang. Good one to play knifey spoony with. Here's a horse for whatever reason. Looks good though glued that together by the way so it's all nice now that can move to there's a belt here ah oh, look at that that's a little skull on that little tassel bit there look at that it's a nice little detail movement up here and at the waist as normal limited by this belt slightly but this is quite nice it moves not in the way too much falls over that waist bit these move as well the side skirting if you move too much you can pop out the power pack let's take a look at this more I love this thing wish they had this for the uh, space wolves I have some custom pack or something that you can get this so just align that on the back there And this will just pop in nicely. These can move to if you want. There. Jean Claude, not so great. You can't do it. So this works quite well. It doesn't get in the way. The strap, I like how it's uh, on the leg. So you move there. It kind of slides in between. That the side skirt slides in between. So you can still move the leg up like that, which is great, and back. Same for here, really, but it doesn't have that. See this thing? Yeah, it doesn't uh, hinder it. Double bend at the knee. Pivot the motion with the foot. Down. Up. Feels a bit different because of the paint, I think. And the toe. There. This thing is coming off a bit. I'll super glue that on. Looks good though. Look at that little skull with the, the ghost colours. Purity seals. Nice looking Space Marine. So he's the closest to your standard 2.0 buck Space Marine that we've got. The closest before him was uh, Crow, but Crow is quite different because of uh, all the other extra bits on the mould of the the buck. But this has done very well. If only there could be somewhere else you put the um, Anzuk. And I think sometimes GW sticks so closely to the minis that they don't innovate they don't take a few liberties you know just change just the, the smallest things for action figure form as it's not just the model you want to articulate them and be able to do other things there's even little detail underneath here 
Which is great, those little skulls. Awesome fig overall. Really like... Like him more than I, I thought I would. I was thinking, oh, maybe I'll skip him. But... I thought he's a named canon character now. That's kind of what I'm going to do now. Just get named canon characters and anything else I'll get if, you know, I think it's good. But probably buy more than I should still. Even though I'm trying to limit myself. But he looks awesome. Now onto some comparisons. And I'm just going to compare against the other canon character figures I've got so far. So here is Crow on the left and Ragnar Blackmane. Ragnar was the first canon character I got and I think it was the first release from Joy Toy, a bit bigger. And Crow's about the same size. Go and check out his video for uh, other comparisons with other lines. You can also check out Acastus for those comparisons too. 2.0 buck. Next we have two dude huge um, Giga Chads, Marnius Kalgar on the right and Tor Garadon on the left. Two of the biggest marines you'll find. Mine is Calga Bean. Biggest. And finally, Shadow Sun. Someone Kasara Khan has uh, gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with a number of times in the lore. And look how she towers over him. Um, the whites here bit different as well on the um, shadow sun she's got some weathering um kind of wish they did it on kasaro khan as they did with the imperial fists but he still looks uh, good without it let's just have a closer look it's good that they don't look like the same whites and there is more weathering on Shadow Sun, I suppose it does differentiate them. But if you wanted to create some uh, some scenes from the lore, they'd look really good together. Look at that. To look up. To see eye to eye. Oh, can't really see eye to eye. Just gazing at her. Her hugeness. So, final thoughts. I'm very happy I decided to get Kasara Khan and stick to my rule of getting the uh, canon uh, character figures from Joy Toy. Uh, he's one not to sleep on. Although he may seem like, uh, you know, your smaller Space Marine buck and pretty much that, like, Compared to the other canon characters, he's the most like a generic Space Marine. But obviously he's got these embellishments. That cape that he has, the fur bit around it or feathers or whatever it is. I think it's definitely one they should have for the Space Wolves or, or this thing keeps popping off. So if you play about with that cape, yeah, this thing does pop off. But I'm quite heavy handed with my toys uh, but yeah so a few things that I, I would change the pauldron on the left I would have a 3d relief I wish he came with a severed head that would have been good he's got a great uh, head sculpt though looks great there and his sword is uh, moon fang is awesome uh, his, his bird, uh, Anzok, he looks good, but that eye, I think I might change, it just looks too weird with that side eye. But because he's uh, just like your, your standard Space Marine, he's got the, the good articulation. Even double hand this thing if he wants. Gonna pop it in there, but those those hands are just so stiff. So heat up your joints, don't snap your sword, like I did. Seems fine now, but you don't want to do that. A very, I think one of the best head sculpts we've got uh, of, of late. I really like it, I think it's done very, very well. 
His look is almost like uh, maybe sort of Genghis Khan or something if he were a space marine. He looks so badass. This bird thing though, I wish there were other ways to display him. And it's good he can stand himself, but if there was a peg on the shoulder or something like that thing. Yeah, this thing for me just keeps popping out. I'm going to push against that cape. But yeah, if there was somewhere else to put uh, Anzuk on the shoulder somewhere, that would be great. Or a forearm twist. Because you really have to just pop him on that hole. If they had a secondary hole, that would have been good. Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, a ton more stuff on the way. So look out for that. And I'll scale you later.